Action Forecast. On the alert for isolated severe weather. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. A lot to talk about. Let's get right to it. NBC 29's live Doppler radar scope is showing some light to moderate rain now after some soaking showers this morning. The rain really started just after midnight and now we're watching some additional rainfall across the I-64 corridor routes 250, route 29, route 15 and also north as we head into the Earliesville area. There's a live view from US Route 29 at Airport Road. Soggy conditions, a lot of the wet roadways out here. So take it easy for traveling today into this evening. You don't want a hydroplane. Uh, allow some extra time to get to your destination if you're going to be out and about today. And we're going to get a break in the widespread rain here shortly. We're watching mostly light showers, Harrisonburg crossing over Route 33 into areas of Green, Culpeper, into Madison, Orange, Louisa, and into Palmyra, Fluvanna counties. There's that break off to the southwest, Lovingston, Lynchburg, on down to the southwest. And we're watching the possibility for a quick spit up tornado. And for that reason, the National Weather Service continues a tornado watch for areas east of the Blue Ridge over most of central Virginia for the possibility of a quick rotating thunderstorm. And we're seeing that right now into Brunswick County into uh, southeastern Virginia there across the south side. Uh, this is a massive tornado watch. It extends all the way from southeast Virginia, north and eastern, northeastern South Carolina. It's all part of these waves, these spokes of rain and storms pushing their way from southwest to the northeast and in association with the remnants of what was Hurricane Nicole. There's the center of now tropical depression. It has weaker winds, but we're on the east side of the system and we do not want to see sunshine today and uh oh look what's happening we're seeing breaks in the clouds off to our southwest this will further destabilize the atmosphere and that means a better chance of seeing some of those rotating storms to form later on in the next few hours from the south so our spin potential watch the yellows and the oranges right through three four five o'clock when you join us for the evening newscast we'll be we will likely be tracking some more active weather uh, from central virginia and into the Piedmont and into the I-95 corridor. That risk for a tornado will end after sunset. Winds will be gusty, uh, especially by this evening from the south, 20, 30 miles per hour, higher wind gust from southwest to northeast. There's that brief break before additional rain arrives. Once we get past 6, 7 o'clock, once this band moves on through, then the risk for severe weather will end. A break of sun tomorrow morning. The clouds fill back in and there's a chance now for a shower later in the day into Saturday evening, followed by that push of cooler air as we go into Sunday and on into next week. Additional rainfall. We've already picked up one to three inches of rain. It looks like the heaviest rain for the rest of the day into this evening, especially will be along the Blue Ridge and into the Shenandoah Valley where you could easily pick up another inch of rainfall. Here's your forecast. Today, upper 60s, low 70s, additional tropical rainfall, localized severe weather cannot be ruled out. 70 on Saturday, sunshine will give way to clouds, perhaps a passing shower later in the day and evening hours. Chillier Sunday and beyond, low 50s Sunday with, with sunshine, upper 40s next week to low 50s. Next best chance of rain will be on next Tuesday, Madison.